Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and today we are taking a look at a really cool Finnish Light Maxim mount. Of course, uh, the Finnish military used, uh, well, they used originally captured Russian Maxim guns, and then started production of their own Maxim guns uh, in 1932 or 1933 at the Tikakoski company. Uh, they really liked the Maxim. Uh, there's an argument to be made that in fact the Finnish 32-33 Maxim gun uh, is really the, the furthest evolution of the Maxim in combat service anywhere. They introduced some things like the snow cap um, that allowed you to fill the water jacket with snow when it was freezing out. This is something that the Russians would copy uh, after finding it from the Finns. At any rate, one of the, the real problems with the Maxim gun everywhere in service was the fact that the mount weighed as much as the gun itself, if not more, and both elements were really quite heavy. Uh, the Finns in 1932-33 adopted their own uh, new tripod mount based kind of closely on one of the DWM commercial mounts. It's a heavy mount, and it's not. It's it's very nice for emplacements and strong points. It's not so good for lightweight assault troops who are trying to move around and want to have some automatic firepower with them, uh, and they don't want to deal with LS-26 light machine guns. And so, through the late 1930s and the 1940s, a number of lightweight Maxim mounts were developed in Finland. Um, there was a, a rucksack style mount with you know, a quadrupod foot setup, so you could carry the mount on your back and then drop it down, you know, kind of stab it into position in dirt, uh, and have a, a mount fairly similar to some of the World War I Maxim trench mounts. Um, the VKT Rifle Factory developed its own lightweight mount, a set of ski, a ski bipod basically for the gun. But the most common of them was this, the M43 Salakari mount. It was developed in uh, 1943 by a lieutenant in the 7th Army Corps named Lauri Salakari, and basically fabricated one of these in the field at a field armory to fulfill a, a need of the troops that he was around. It's a, it's a 4.1 kilo mount, which is about 10 pounds, which is about 50 pounds less than the official tripod. Uh, of course you have a pair of skis on the front, but they are connected to bipod legs. So in the summer you can actually take the skis off and uh, stab it into the ground on a fixed bipod. If I unlock the traverse back there, what you can do is lift this up by the fixed shoulder stock, it will pivot side to side, and makes a really nice lightweight sort of assault mount for a Maxim gun. Yeah. So let's take a look at a couple of these elements up a little closer. So I don't have a rear mounting pin in this one at the moment, but this is designed to, uh, to connect to standard mounting points on a Maxim gun. So the front, uh, front peg is fixed to the mount, and the rear is just a removable pin. If we go ahead and take the gun off, uh, you can see the mounting point here, uh, a fixed pin. And then we've got our locking plunger on the bottom, which allows this piece to rotate freely, 360 degrees. There is the underside of the assembly. The ski feet are both attached by pins to a nice wide uh, bipod foot. So in the summer, as I said, you can pull, pull, pull the skis off and just have a bipod. And the shoulder support is actually fairly wide, uh, slightly pushed over um, to the, the left to accommodate a right-handed gunner. The concept was quite well received. In the winter and spring of 1943 uh, these were tested and put into production. A grand total of 312 of them were manufactured. Uh, they weren't made, like the idea was to put them into mass production, uh, but that wasn't able to happen before the, the Russian offensive in uh, 1944 and the end of the continuation war. So, Total of 312 is all that were ever actually made, but they were apparently quite popular with uh, the assault troops who used them. You could take this whole thing and put it in a snow sledge uh, for longer distance transportation, uh, but the skis allow the gun to sit nicely on the snow, unlike a tripod, and it's far more mobile than a tripod. The one complaint that some of the users had with it was with the, the shoulder stock itself, which didn't really have any, well, doesn't have any adjustment whatsoever. 
And the argument was, well, the shoulder stock could be better. But for a, uh, an economical, quickly produced, not quite improvised, but close to improvised lightweight mount, this really uh, was a very good solution. In fact, it was a good enough solution that a hundred of them would remain in Finnish Defence Forces inventories until the 1980s, uh, when they were finally all scrapped. Uh, with the exception, of course, of a handful that made it out onto the collector's market here in Finland. So I think it's a really cool uh, adaptation of the Maxim to combat in winter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.